We were heading to Amsterdam. A short hop, skip and a jump from the UK. Our flight from Heathrow to Schiphol Airport would take just over an hour, covering a distance of roughly 350 kilometres. We would only be in Amsterdam for five days, giving us just long enough to scrape the surface of this amazing and distinctive location. For two of us to go to Amsterdam, it's 11 euros 80. Great, okay. And the Heathrow train we got to this morning was 25 pounds. Each. Each. Happy? Yeah. Still reeling from the disgusting price of British train fares, we made our way towards Amsterdam Central Station and the ferry that would see us across the river to our hotel. We were staying in the Saradam, a hotel situated in the Adam Tower, an old converted office block that promised unparalleled views of the city. At this stage in the crossing, we only had one burning question. The ferry was indeed free, and over the next five days, we would certainly be getting a lot of use out of it. The hotel room was everything promised. Furnished with its own record player and a library of LPs in the lobby, it was pretty much a hipster dream come true. Although one or two of the albums left in our room on arrival were of questionable taste. What can you see? Everything. Not before long, we were down in the lobby, exploring the hotel's extensive record collection. The weather forecast for the next few days didn't promise much in the way of sunshine, so, braving the elements and battling tiredness, we made our way back across the river to explore the city. It didn't take us long to find a Fibo food outlet. As an introvert, the idea of buying hot food without the pain of dealing with another human being is somewhat appealing. So what is it you got? Yeah, I know it's beef and pork and crunchy. <laughs> Enjoying Amsterdam so far? Mm -hmm. Favourite thing so far? Sitting. Sitting's pretty good. Mm
We decided to keep things relatively simple that evening. We would eat back at the hotel and then retire to our room to listen to some music. I'd come for ELO because it's got Mr. Blue Sky on it. Yeah, good choice. I've gone for Patty Smith Horses because I think it's got Dancing Barefoot on it. We've seen that live. And I've gone for London Calling because... It's a banger. It's London Calling. It's London Calling. Yeah, good choices. You don't, don't know, know how it goes. You don't know this one, do you? Oh. I don't know. We're going to go and find some pancakes. Nice. And then go see some art. Oh. It was Bridget's birthday, and after finishing a brief sing-song in the hotel's karaoke lift, we would indeed be tucking into a hearty breakfast of pancakes. Really good. Really good. A hit. Yeah, I'm I, very full now. I think I'm going to die. Um, it was too much for me. But you know, there you go. We've done the tick. Pancake's done. Art. Art next. Art next. making our way to Amsterdam's museum and gallery district in order to experience the Van Gogh Museum. Feel free to place your complaints about my pronunciation of Van Gogh in the comments below. Okay, you're going in. Okay, good luck. You did, you did that brilliantly. Okay. I'm just going to go now. I'm yeah, I'm going to go. Apparently, the best cookies in the world. In the world? In the world. Jesus. Mm -hmm. How long have we been here now? Only about 15 minutes. 15 minutes? Okay, that feels generous. Are you just telling me it's 15 minutes? Right, 15 minutes. Okay. 
How long now? 20 minutes. So this is what we've been waiting for. Okay. Are you ready? Should I drop it on the floor? Okay, don't drop it on the floor. Right, this is a crumbly one. Okay, I'm ready. Oh, crikey. You're missing a bit there because it's still in the pack. Okay, that's interesting. Oh, thank you. Oh. <laughs> thank you. Let's do this. Come on then. You said best in the world. Oh, pretty good. Pretty good, okay. I mean, that's pretty good, isn't it? Okay, explain the war cheese to me. It was in a World War II bunker. Okay. That's the war cheese, that one. During the war? Yeah. It's very creamy. Did it serve? Flavor. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> it's anti-Nazi cheese. Yeah. Okay. I'm hoping the pigeons are all going to take flight. I mean, they're not going to. They're sturdy pigeons. By early afternoon, we'd inexplicably experienced some lost time. Needless to say, as evening rolled around, we'd polished off nearly 20 euros worth of the world's best cookies. Feeling rested, but slightly peckish, we set out in search of somewhere to eat. We'd been given a recommendation by a friend of ours, a food court a short walk from the city centre that was simply called Food Harlem. Amsterdam thoughts? Yeah, it's good. <laughs> How does it compare to other places you've been? So Barcelona. Uh, so this is more chilled. Mm. I agree. Venice. Both have canals. This is more chilled, and there's more bikes here, and it's more dangerous trying to get across roads. I think that's the one thing. The amount and of times. pavements yeah. and everything really. We have been killed or almost killed several times yeah so all in all it's a thumbs up it's a it's a fun thumbs up from us okay great great bedtime. Did you enjoy the red light district? Yeah, it's great. Gonna go and have a nice glass of wine in our lovely hotel room now. Yeah, good idea because it is raining again.
don't know it. I don't know who this is. Oh, it's a great effort. Yep. 